Yeah, Does it matter? You're I'm on 6%. But you're fine. I don't know what Jesse, it is, but I'm you can also use it. on 6%. Oh, 5%. Uh, wow, give me a second. I'll run it down this. <laughs> Wait, I'm surprised it still recognized my face. 5%. Ooh, it's so I'm bad. setting you up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it in dark mode. Bro, really? guess yeah. who also it's isn't in dark mode? No one asked. <laughs> they were talking to me. So true. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Hello, hello. Testing. One, two, three, one. Saying, all, right. all right, I'm going to get started. <laughs> we feel like I'm all right, everyone. Welcome to the fifth episode of the Rooftop me? Pod. Oh, Dude. sorry. <laughs> Wait, is it recording already? Yeah, yeah it's already yeah. recording. Oh. My name is Jesse. I am your host. And today I am joined by my sister, Rachel. My brother Andrew. What's up, what's up? My good friend Luana. Hi. My other good friend Nick Longson. What's up? And uh, today we are on Andrew's rooftop. Thank you so much, Andrew, for having us here. It's a very beautiful rooftop in. Uh, <laughs> People can't. Oh my God. Oh, wait, wait a second. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So this don't, this uh, this subject I think is relevant because we've all been to college, the four of us. But Rachel is currently still in college. So I want, and we all have a variety of uh, experiences in this. I think. Um, I wanted to talk about relationship advice in college so we can help Rachel as she navigates through through college. So one thing that I always say <laughs> okay. she's like, get me out of here. All right, this is very Oh, this this doesn't this actually doesn't have oh, anything God. to do with you. <laughs> this doesn't have anything to do with you, but I okay. I have this uh, take. It might be hot, it might just be a normal take, but I don't think anyone should date during their first year of college. Agreed. Mm. Agreed. What are your takes on that? Did anyone date during their first year of college? Um, Luana dated. Yeah. Do you the end of my first year. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Like, I All feel right. like beginning, if you start in the beginning, right, and you start dating someone, then you literally only hang out with them, and then you have zero friends. We've mm. seen that. Yeah, we've seen that. We've like, seen so that. many people, yeah. like, mm. and then, like, I know this one couple, they broke up mm. their senior year. <laughs> But like you're know saying, like it's yeah, like, no, they, it's they don't tough. Have, you don't have any, that many friends. You, you know don't have like, like a support system because you build that during the first year, and once those core friend groups are built, it's hard to break into them after like something happens to your relationship. Yeah. Mm. Or even those uh, friendships that you do make in freshman year, like you don't see those people as much. You know, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Because you have to split your time yeah. between your partner and like the friends that you're with. What do you guys think about people who start dating in high school and then continue into their first year of college? Mm. Oh, they usually break up. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but like... I mean, that was me. Is it different? That's true. He, but you yeah. did a really good job of still spe Well, No, no, no. They, she broke up with me my first week of that's college. how we became close and though. then and then my grandma was also dying of cancer and then i that thought i rough. i failed my math exam so i didn't oh, think damn. i could be pre-med so oh, i was depressed geez. that damn. was a tough yeah, time it was yeah. a tough, yeah. it was a tough time but out of that i think you built a lot of really cool oh, friendships because i remember mm. talking to you about that and then that's kind of how our friendship yeah. started because we related mm. on the the subject of heartbreak yeah. so but yeah anyways what was your heartbreak, was your heartbreak? yeah that's my college. high school relationship still no, no, I related with him. I was like, oh, oh let me help you get through this. Because, like, you were still hung up about that? <laughs> no, I was fine. Like, dang. No, I was like fine. Was giving advice. I was giving him advice. I was like, this is what it's like on the other side. Like, <laughs> feel this good. There's light at the end and of the tunnel. Be, yeah, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now it's like that right now. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the other way around. Yeah, all right, chill. All right. I didn't, I didn't want to. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Today. I wanted to talk about relationship advice for oh, Rachel. Oh, okay. Rachel. I feel like this is just like this podcast has just devolved into giving me advice. Oh. Mm, that's because you're the younger one. You're you this like need more advice. Then. I need more uh, advice. I don't think she we needs have advice. more advice to give you because we're older. I think. I, I think, think this is just an excuse you. to talk about something to give you advice. <laughs> 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 no, this podcast was built because I I really enjoy it's having like these conversations with oh, you. Oh, I see. So I was like, oh, oh these wow, are interesting. Yeah. What's good luck, Charlie? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but like, how? <laughs> old how millennials. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Back to the, the main subject. All right. So, what, what All right, so Rachel asked, oh. what if you came into it with a relationship? Should you <laughs> should you break up with that person so you can make friends in college? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> looking, yeah. Looking back on it, I think you should. Well, okay. But usually I feel like those relationships end up being long distance anyway. Mm. Mm. So then... Like, do you think it's you still possible that's for true. them to build I think those relationships? In I think college? it's true. I think you can. I can't think mm, of a specific true. instance in my mind of that being done successfully. Mm -hmm. But if you're long distance, like you can't be spending that much time with them. Right. Mm. So I think that would actually work. But if you're dating someone 
like on your freshman floor mm -hmm. like first month of college yeah. and that's like mm -hmm. the only person you hang out with yeah you're not gonna make any friends besides that person mm -hmm. and they're very happy in the meantime they're like oh i get to spend all this time with like a person i really like yeah but they're neglecting the the fact that they're not building other relationships mm -hmm. and they're not hedging that relationship <laughs> pro properly right. because if it fails they have no one else coming back on. Yeah. But I feel like even if you're long distance, it still holds you back in some way because mm. like, you know, yes, doing like you going, are in a long distance relationship. Yeah, like for example, like going out, right? Like will that yes. make your partner uncomfortable? Yeah. And you always have to hold back and think about that first before you act yeah. on something, right? It's so it's like, on the I feel like you still don't get like the full college experience. No, I think it depends. Cause I was it, Well, it depends on the couple. Like, no, you guys but have when you were long distance stuff, in college, you were not fun. <laughs> <laughs> we collectively, oh, me, Jacob, oh, and Martin. That is true. That you were a homebody. I became yeah. unfun. You just yeah. like didn't go out, or when you went out, you weren't having as much fun because you knew your partner wasn't there. Mm. Yeah, mm. And, that's true. That's I did true, become though. unfun. Yeah, you were definitely, yeah. you're definitely way more fun now. And before that relationship, you were way more fun too. That's something the the four of our uh, friends, our roommate situation, we definitely noticed that as soon as you started mm. dating this girl, like you would when you went out, you were like just weren't having fun mm. we would make fun me and jacob would always talk behind your back <laughs> be like dude just look at nick he's so he's sad like in the corner just like he's just like bobbing boy. his head not <laughs> smiling yeah Aww. so definitely i think being in a long distance it still holds you back from mm, like true. but at that point you already had good friends so it didn't really yeah like we weren't I mean, gonna still leave a lit you. time it just depended on the the party your, mm. your energy was definitely different like like our parties in our apartment those were so fun yeah but yeah. You think we could, though, we could tell then, the difference when then. she was visiting you, you had way more oh, fun. Oh, really? Oh, for sure. Oh, really? Like, when we threw the parties when she was there versus uh -huh. when she wasn't there, oh, there was a big difference in your demeanor. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> your ex watching this like teaching. <laughs> 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 There's no way she watched Sup, Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, didn't you say you I thought you were going to see That's her really this pretty weekend? Uh, I don't know. I had the feeling I was going to see her, mm. but I don't know. I mean, if it's I okay. It's fine. If I do see her, it's like, yo, look at me now. <laughs> look out. Yeah, yeah. You, your style has uh, improved a lot. Oh, 100%. Since, oh my yeah. god, I used to dress like Nike oh, shirt and like Nike shorts. He every had a day. He dressed like him. <laughs> no, no, but worse, but worse. <laughs> but way worse. Hey, man, no, yeah. he had these shark. giant just do it shirts. <laughs> oh, no. And now yeah. he. He wears like corduroy and really? pants. Yeah. I feel like oh. when I used to hang out with you guys at Hopkins, I didn't. He didn't stand out as like, oh my god, it's that guy with the Nike shirt. Like, I feel like oh no, that's because that's when I started dating Rose. Then she started buying me clothes and shit. Dude, oh. low key, like <laughs> dating a girl <laughs> helps like your your wardrobe si situation no, significantly. But then after she bought me, I feel like. I I was so you built lost. Upon I was so lost. I was like, "What the fuck do I buy?" You know. <laughs> but then I figured it out. I figured it out. Man, so, we need to get Andrew some of that. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I feel like being in New York City, yeah. especially so. when you're on the streets, you just like watch other people mm, and see right. what they're wearing. Yeah, yeah. Look like yeah. A, I like that. Yeah, you don't want to look like a dweeb. <laughs> Dude, I work at gym for man. I just wear athleisure 24-7. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, there's that, that, like, subgroup of people. Like, I saw a lot of athleisure want. people yeah, today, yeah. but they were mostly, like, moms. I mean, so. I... Hey, I don't mind that. 80% of the time, I just With wear open. athleisure. But it's, like, if I go to mm. certain areas in New but, York like, City... But, like, stylish athleisure. I never wear athleisure. It's because you don't he live, said. bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I wasn't talking. I hate working out. <laughs> I showed the gym um. just to leave. <laughs> that, that was me this morning. That was, that was literally me this morning. Um, okay, so I actually want to go back to the topic again. So I want to ask you, so you were in a relationship your freshman year. Yeah, Did towards you the end of it. Towards the end of it. Do you feel like you lost out on anything while you were in that relationship? I don't think so. But no. I think that's because, like, for me, I've always been really good about keeping my own set of people. Mm. Like, even if I was in a relationship, I have my own friends, and I would make time for them as well. You would be able to compartmentalize, like, time yeah, yeah. between Cause, both. Yeah, because for me, it's like, I think early on, I boys come and go. But I know my friends they will do. always be there, that's right? True. So, that's, that's yeah, a fact. exactly. So true. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. I 
recognized that really early on. So it's like when I got into my relationship, I was always wow, very like. You recognize that, that yeah. freshman year of college? Dude, I recently that's recognized such a, that. That's same. Literally, I've just also the girls like mature like way faster Wait. than guys though. I feel. Did you like uh, gatekeep yeah, your true. friends? No, no, okay. no. no. What do you mean? I would. I would keep your friends. What do you, what do, you do that? Is that a thing to do? What do you do? What does that mean? Because you want to keep it separate. Yeah. Oh, like like you make sure they're not friends with each other. No, like not make sure they're not friends with each other. It's just like. It's like I'll hang out with my friends, you hang yeah. out with your friends. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it's more no, it's fun more when you. It's more beautiful when yeah, like, yeah. everyone's No, 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 no. You got to keep it separate, bro. No, but I feel like you can, when you're dating, right? Like, like you can still a... merge friend groups, but. But then when you break up. But, but your friends are still your friends, though. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. true. They are. Like, I know friends. that they yeah, will stay loyal to me. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. They can't, the other person can't steal your friends. Yeah, hell you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. You're my siblings. I don't need high fives from you. Like, when I was in my relationship, I really wanted my significant other to become friends with my friends. Because then I'm like, oh, I can hang out with both of them, and it'd be, like, quality time with both my friends and my girlfriend. Mm. Which is, like, two birds at one with one stone. <laughs> There's no camera. We're all going to cry together. <laughs> what are you crying about? I have so much. <laughs> just, like, lurking yeah, in my Life my was so mind. simple back then. You're just like, oh, I just have to Truly do my, my homework. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, my yeah, life's pretty simple like, right now. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta Fourth year of med school is, is too easy. Okay, the other question I want to talk about is do you guys want to have kids yes. when you're older? Yes. And maybe. So. Yes. For sure? For sure you want to have kids? Yeah. You know what's weird though? You for like, sure want to oh, have do. kids. But okay. I was talking to a lot of my guy friends. All my guy friends are like, oh yeah, I want kids. And then a lot of my girlfriends, even when they want kids, they think about it because it really does. Because like, a girl, it's so like, you have to think about timeline. It's so much yeah. different for women. Yeah. so much different. Like, especially yeah. with career, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's mm-hmm. just, it's not that cut and dry. Mm. Yeah. Do you think I, about timeline of when you want everything to happen? I think when I was younger, I did. And that's actually mm. the reason why my last boyfriend and I broke up. It's mm. because I had a really rigid timeline. Mm. And for him, he... Oh, really? I, don't, I feel like for guys, like, their timeline is just pushed back, like, mm. further mm. compared yeah. to, like, girls, mm-hmm. right? But, and that's like the, the main reason like why we broke up, but mm. retrospectively, like when I look back and I reflect on the relationship and our whole breakup, like, I feel like for me, like, if you were to, to ask me that question now, I would say I have a rough timeline, mm. but I don't need to follow it strictly, mm. if that makes okay. sense. Mm-hmm. Really? It was your timeline that caused you guys? I mean, we had, we, uh, we obviously had other issues too. Okay, you, but that was like, but that was like, was... that's like a deal breaker mm. you know what I mean mm. and for also him, he like really? no no for, well for both he also wasn't sure if he wanted kids anymore oh whoa oh, see so more, like, more recently yeah. I've been thinking about oh, like yeah mm. yeah yeah because my whole life I was like oh I definitely want kids like yeah. we grew up with like five mm-hmm. kids in the house it was really fun but then I also see my dad now he's like like almost 60 years old and he's not even close to retiring like my yeah. little brother is five still, kids <laughs> yeah oh, five yeah. kids and our youngest brother is 12 so that means he has to wait till they get through college before he can start thinking about retiring, which is like, he'll be like almost 70 years old. And like, obviously you can plan it out better than my parents did. They didn't plan. <laughs> <laughs> there was Yo. no planning involved there. We were planned. <laughs> well, uh, God's gifts. Uh, God's, God's, you know God's gifts. Um, Honestly, a blessing in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's how our parents yeah, see it. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's really. having yeah. kids, yeah. No, or I've like, always, I, mm-hmm. I having, think having kids. Like multi- kids. Multi- multiple kids, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, but like when you think about it, each kid probably cost about a million dollars to like yeah. raise and like bring yeah. to like adulthood. Yeah. If you had a million dollars throughout your lifetime for each kid that you didn't have, think about how many trips you could make to like hawaii and like Mm -hmm. bora bora you can like travel the world like 10 times around Mm. and still have extra money no but think about it no but then like your kids you like become best friends with them when they're older you know like and they get back yeah yeah, they do get back that's Mm. true we are an investment at this point (laughs) (laughs) our kids investment and it's like something to be proud of i guess if you have kids yeah culturally i think in asian cultures in general your kids are supposed to take care of you when you're older, right? Mm-hmm. So if you, mm-hmm. like, it's actually, I think it's kind of taboo to not have kids because then people are like, who's going to take care of yeah. you when you're older? Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. Um, 
So the only reason I would have kids is for that purpose. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's future investment, hey. future long investment. term gains. And you're born, your kids like born into the world and they're like, I did not ask for this. <laughs> like, what? Well, I, I, won't tell I did not them. sign up for I this. Like, Wait, Jesse, when, when we started college, was it you? You were like, oh yeah, I want to yes. get married. He's like, he's like yes. I want to get married wow. at 22 and have kids yes. right after wow. college. 22? 22. Yes. Yes. yes, my man. No, no, no. no. This was how do you like, know what I want to eat? School? <laughs> like, yeah. How do you know you want to I had this, I had this life, I had this life, Jesse. I had this crazy. life wow. uh, plan I that I told everyone on the floor. Yeah. Was it I was, when like, you were still Christian? <laughs> yeah, it was when I was still uh, Christian. It was like, wait, are you not anymore? No. Oh, interesting. Hey, cut that yeah. out of the pod. Mom and dad don't need to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's that. interesting. Okay. Um, but w when I was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was responsible for that. Wait, that's so interesting. Um, but yeah, Where's mom and dad? Wait, are you guys? <laughs> hey yo, next next uh, next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll talk it's about that some other time. Yeah. yeah, but I think um, growing up like with a bunch of conservative people, it's, yeah. even in the Asian American community, you're expected to get married earlier on. At least in, from our family's standpoint, like all of our cousins got married in their early mid twenties. Dad got married when he was twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Yeah. yeah. Was, well, yeah, yeah. Later, I, that's about yeah. my age at this yeah, point. You are kind of crazy. Yeah. Holy but shit. times are different, though. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, that's are, normal. But they still have that expectation, though. Yeah. Mm, like, see. my grandparents still think I sh like, I'm late to get married at this point. Well, they mm. just want great grandchildren. Yeah. Mm. Which right. they have. From you, from you specifically. specifically. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, yeah. why me? Because dad's the oldest. oldest. Oh, oh, so you're the oldest kid's oldest, oldest son. boy. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Eldest yeah. sons, eldest. Son. Yeah. yeah. Eldest sons, eldest oh, sons. They, they yeah. have a special name for it in Vietnam. Yeah. What's that? Is there a special name for it in Chinese culture? I don't know. No. Which <laughs> doll? There's like a Dada. specific name for that person. So you're that person. I feel like there probably is. Probably. Yeah. I think I'm, it up later. I'm shaming the family right now. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get it together. It sounds like you guys come from a really like traditional. Yeah, Super well, traditional. we're really traditional and also really conservative because my mm. parents are very religious. very religious. And growing up in our church, like all of, like the church kids that went on to college, they like found the boyfriend or found a significant mm. other their like first year of college, mm -hmm. and yeah. then they got married like their senior year or year after. Mm. So I was like, oh, that's yeah. my life plan. We won't drop, and drop to, names to be honest, or yeah, like, uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. Um, so like Come when on. I went to college, yeah. I was like, oh, I need to meet the, my person like within the first two years so that mm. we can get married before i go to med school mm. oh Dang. that was your timeline did not happen no no <laughs> Whoa, you, you never plan for those things right. you yeah, can't yeah. and honestly once you start planning for those things the less likely that will happen mm. yeah and also it's it's it like if you have such a rigid timeline someone can come into your life and they mm. might only meet like 60 70 80 mm -hmm. percent of what you're actually looking and then for then you'll start forcing it exactly yeah, yeah yeah so that's like goes back to like what I say like I used to have a timeline but mm. I don't have one now because you can everything you plan out never turns same. out the way that you exactly yeah. not I'm the same way now like yeah. nowadays I like my my person's just gonna come when I least expect it like mm -hmm. I'm never gonna be looking for it mm -hmm. until it happens and then once it happens like you just figure it out I mean the key to a relationship I found out is being able to handle problems mm. relationship issues mm. like a Every relationship is going to have like arguments and problems. Mm -hmm. The ones that are successful are the ones that are where the both people are able to come to like a certain agreement. Mm -hmm. If you can't get to that point, then it's usually how things end. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say that's true for you? No, what? Yeah. It's okay. Isn't it like my thing? It's like it's just like you just don't give up on the other person, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as yeah. someone gives up, that's when the relationship's over, right? Mm -hmm. That's true. That's all it is. Yeah, that's that's being able to successfully solve problems. Because once someone gives up, you're not solving problems. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You're like not on the same team anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I watched a TikTok that was like, girls will give up on relationships like three months before they actually cut it off. I think really? that happens to me. Like no, that happened to me. That happened to me. Yeah. I feel yeah. like it's the opposite way. No. No. I feel like no. I, really? first, first like you can kind of yeah. sense it, but like as a dude, I f may, I'm speaking for myself, but. I feel like I'm always gonna stick it out until I feel like, because I always give myself this hope or this sense of hope that things will get better. That's mm. why I stick around, because mm. I'm like, oh, things can get better. Even though I don't see any way of it getting better, mm. I just have this hope that things will get better. Whereas I feel like for girls, 
they'll recognize that things can't get better and mm-hmm. they'll give up on the relationship and then like they'll wait a while i don't know wait for an excuse to come around the way that that's dang like, <laughs> what so, I don't think the that. way that the tiktok was explaining oh, it is oh. like when they cut it off it's because like it's the last straw mm. like they've made so many excuses mm-hmm. and so like for three months they're like okay like i oh, i feel like okay, it's not yes. working out anymore that's right. but mm. i'm just gonna keep on like letting it go see if things get better so kind of like what you were saying mm. like with the little hope and then yeah once the last straw is like taken out they're like okay like nothing can fix this it's mm. time to end it okay yeah. but i also feel like that person should have more of a responsibility like if they're recognizing it earlier they should have the responsibility of doing something to make things better right they should bring it up and be like hey let's come up with strategies or let's come up with solutions mm-hmm. and i feel like that's a successful relationship it's like good communication and like being able to talk through and work through those problems why do you yeah. feel like you're different you don't do you don't break up with you someone said, three yeah. months before you actually break up with them like you don't you're, you're a good well, person that's bad <laughs> <laughs> no i guess like i because you said girls <laughs> Like you said, girls do that, like right away. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a generalization. It's a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no, but I feel like I'm like you, true. where okay. like I, well, yes. Like I feel like I, I, I would give that person multiple tries, mm-hmm. but I don't know. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a. Do you feel like have you? Person. This might be too personal of a question, but you can have just you? Cut out the video. I, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can on. edit out. But um, do you feel like? people have mostly broken up with you or Mm. you have broken up with other people more often i feel like mostly girls do the breaking up in my in Hmm. my i think in both my relationships the relationships were coming to an end and both of us kind of knew that Mm -hmm. and it was just one of us had to bring it up yeah it wasn't like it wasn't like oh i was like we were like like, yeah i was like so happy in the relationship i didn't yeah Yeah. out of nowhere no it was like Mm. Uh, transition mm. and we okay. both knew that it was coming to an end okay. yeah did you feel like your breakup like came out of nowhere I, was, I knew it was coming you knew it was coming I, I remember I talking didn't. to my friends about it. I was like yeah I think she's gonna break up with me soon really like a week before I said that yeah. really? but I didn't want to believe it Dang. but oh, yeah damn. that's sad yeah yeah and then she broke up yeah. yeah well you didn't tell me did like, you know at, how at I found out she called me who called you yes when she, she called you I told you about this for sure I, I was think... in bed she, why did she call and she, you? I got a call from her. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm calling you to let you know that hmm? uh, Nick and I broke up. He's in a really, now. like, dark place right now. Can you yeah, reach out to him and stuff? Well, also, I didn't like, reach out to him. Like, it's kind of weird. Nine. It's like a... No, but she still cared about me. Yeah, I know, exactly. but it's like yeah. a... But to bring so, a third person into it, like... No, no, but she knows that like, me and Jesse are here. Yeah, yeah, she oh, knows yeah, that we're yeah, super yeah, close. Yeah. I just was not expecting that call. I was like, well, why is my best friend's ex calling me? She called you the day we broke up? literally like a day or two yeah. oh really yeah oh uh-huh. fun fact we broke up three years ago yesterday yeah. happy, happy breakup happy anniversary <laughs> yeah. wait wait what's that give me on song heartbreak yeah 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 but like the thing how is like how'd you feel yesterday, yesterday? Oh, I had a great time. Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I told you. It was lit. I didn't even lit. think about it. Okay, okay. But, nice. but, but like, Do you guys have siblings? I have one. She's an only child. child. Oh, we should no, talk about only oh, child should. syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I have one? You don't, surprisingly. Yeah. Because you are an no, only child, but you either. are not. You don't give an no. only child mm. vibe at all. Yes. You yeah. give me like younger sister vibes. Really? Yeah. But you give me older sister vibes. Well, actually, really? Yeah, I feel like you got your shit together. Well, you can have your together and still I know but like you got your shit together just... like I feel like you know what you want no yeah. no oh. at all <laughs> <laughs> but, but no. I, I feel like you can be like not an only child but still have only child like syndrome mm. yeah. and you can also yeah. be an John. only child but I think the <laughs> no. youngest sibling has only children's tendencies oh that's true because they get spoiled a lot. right mm. yeah but you were gonna say something I forget what you were gonna say. you were bringing oh, out some oh, type of uh, anniversary w- when it's chilly. when she broke up with me, like yeah, I, was gonna say. I don't know why I did <laughs> this, but I felt bad talking to people about how I felt, so I just held it all in. Oh. I didn't talk to anyone about it. Mm. Yeah. He didn't even talk to me about like it. I talked to you a little bit. I feel like guys do that I talked so to I talked to you yeah. the most. I'm the opposite. When I go through a breakup, uh, I talk to all everyone. my closest yeah. friends, <laughs> like my family, yeah. my my best friends. Yeah. I talk to yeah. all of them. I like yeah. just I need to get it out there. The first time you broke up. Um, you like called me on my way to high school, and I was in my Whoa. first class, and it, like he was, was crying on the phone, and I was like, Jesse, I'm so sorry, my class is <laughs> I remember that. 
<laughs> okay, you can go to class. <laughs> Tears I'm just gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> myself on the phone. No, but I'm the opposite. I like need to talk about it and get it out there, or else mm-hmm. I like oh, I hurt I so bad. Mm. Yeah. But it also makes me feel really good when I'm like the the whole point of starting this podcast. I'm gonna cut this out, but like the reason why I started this podcast is because like after my breakup, I just poured myself out into like. Mm meeting all my friends again like reconnecting with my friends like talking mm-hmm. a lot with my siblings mm-hmm. and this was like a very good medium for me mm-hmm. to do that i think mm-hmm. when you're in a relationship for so long all you kind of just associate love with relation like what's mm-hmm. it called yeah. with romantic love romantic right love, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's like for me like when i got out of, got out of my last relationship i was like wait i can actually experience love in so mm-hmm. many different forms mm-hmm. and that's a great way to put it mm-hmm. yeah and i don't know sometimes i feel like those forms are love forms of love are I don't know. It even fills my better. soul's yeah. It fills yeah. my soul even more than yeah. mm-hmm. a relational mm-hmm. wait, romantic love. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I can't. I don't. It's even know definitely the different. It. That's it, when you when you go through a breakup, you definitely have this like gap mm-hmm. or break in your heart. For me, it was like the person I talked to every single day, like on the phone. Like we would just be on the phone for hours at a time because that's all we could do in a long distance relationship. Like after I didn't have that, I was like, who the. F- am i gonna talk to like Mm. yeah (laughs) (laughs) it's like it's like Uh between nick and rachel and like mina and i just talk to the four of them like all day long and johnny i talk to johnny a lot but mostly because we play video games together that's a lot of fun i thought johnny couldn't come i'm sad that he could come too good friend johnny but yeah like i remember i like wrote poems (laughs) (laughs) we all Uh, handle breakups so differently but yeah yeah Mm -hmm. next time you go through a breakup you should talk to me about it (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Don't bother. Don't, don't bother. Okay, uh, be vulnerable. I don't know. It's weird though. I just feel be bad more in touch talking with... to people. No, you told it. me that. Okay, it's so... weird. I don't know. It's like weird. you feel, I feel like it's a burden. I feel yeah. like I'm a burden on someone else. Mm. That's why. I yeah, but it. you, I. The thing is, I know that I would do the same for you, mm. and like because I know we have that mutual like oh. If I'm going through this, I know you'll take care of me. If you're going through it, I know I'm going to take mm. care of you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, that's what friends are oh. for. Yeah. yeah. Should we hug yeah. it out, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you really want no, this hug. Just kiss. <laughs> you want this hug. Just, just kiss. Just kiss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep this one in. Keep this in. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I'll also say, like, from a friend standpoint, if I know my friends are hurting, like, I want them to talk mm. to me. Like, I want to mm. make sure that I can be there want, for them. No, no, I do, though. I, yeah. I like talking to Jesse. I want to talk to him, but it's just yeah. weird. It's just me. It's a me thing. Yeah. No, know. everyone hands no, like, it's a guy thing. I was the same way, I think, after my breakup. I'm like, I don't want to put out all this negative energy out, especially yeah, see, towards yeah, my exactly. friends, because I know it's an emotional burden, right? Mm-hmm. Whether they want to help me out or not, and I recognize that they do, but it is still emotional weight mm-hmm. that you're just like, ah, I do kind of feel bad. Do about you it. do you eventually open up to your friends and tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like once you're done processing it and mm-hmm. everything. Oh yeah. I, it took you years. Like I didn't hear a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like did not know that. <laughs> it, it took me years to figure out what actually happened in your. Cause like <laughs> I actually didn't recognize recognize you had problems in your relationship until you broke up yeah. like it was a surprise to me i was like what the hell you guys broke up because i thought you guys were super happy together mm. I, mean, I was happy me too <laughs> i don't do no no i wasn't i was, I was like i was, like, I was, I was happy i was not happy i was just hoping that i would be happy one day man these shadows are vibes i know can you be in a platonic friendship with someone that you're physically attracted to? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 You friends can. With you. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh yeah. That was cute. That was cute. Good one. Um, Damn, everyone's gonna think I'm gay. You've already think that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Just kidding. It's okay. Um. You know what, I think I think there's layers to it because okay. yes, you can be attracted to some or platonic friends with someone you're attracted to, but if I don't vibe with their personality, mm, or But like, why are you friends yeah, with them? Right. Yeah. It's not, it's not like, personality. Clearly there's it's, a personality it's, vibe there. It's something like I don't see us compatible in a relationship mm. together, mm. but we are compatible mm. as friends and you are objectively an attractive person, but I'm just like, I just know this wouldn't work. Is that how friends with benefits? kind of emerge no like that kind of mm-hmm. dynamic uh actually uh, no no or are friends with benefits no. usually people that don't get along like 
No, you just no, they have, yeah. no. You don't start oh, they, with friends. You just, well, it's called friends with benefits. But you you start with the benefits. I think you're friends because of the benefits. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's true. Okay, that's yeah. true. Um, but you it's, you don't become friends with benefits with someone in your friend group. You know what I'm saying? It's, well, well, I've I never. Guess, oh. Yeah, that'd be messy. But yeah. I feel like yeah. people do do that. Mm-hmm. Do do. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually feel like. <laughs> Is this toxic to say? I think being like friends with someone that you're physically attracted to makes that friendship a little more spicy. Like it's like oh, because there's the tension. There's that tension, oh, but I you see. still don't want to be in a relationship or like ruin things because you guys like hooked up or something. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I agree. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be more entertaining. No, it's just okay. it's just different. It's, it's, I don't know. It's just, no, mm. I don't think it's toxic. Okay. It's just like a different type of friendship. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. It's like, yeah. Okay. Have you guys ever been friends with someone that you've been? Uh... All right. You don't need to say me again. But <laughs> <laughs> most of my, I would say most of my close friends are all girls, and like my close guy friends, like like Jerry is like gay. So like, oh, I don't, no. I don't, I I've never been in that situation. Mm, okay. Mm, yeah. The thing is. I, th- I feel like you keep your buckets really separate. Yeah, that's the thing. I have mm-hmm. a lot of girl space friends. Um, yes. <laughs> we, we had a clear about wait, this. What, what do we, we call them? GSFs? GSF. What's, girl. G- what's S? Space. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Is that okay. girlfriend? Is that GF? It's GSFs. <laughs> and like, oh, okay. I remember back in high school, you were like, Andrew, this is so weird. Why are you friends with all these girls that you, like, you don't want to date? Yeah. And I was just like, because Jesse, Jesse, Jesse didn't understand the concept of platonic girl friendships in high school. Is that true? That's um, yeah. toxic of you. <laughs> the thing is, like, I, That's I what homies... girls are scared no, of. No, but but you had the like, thing is only girlfriends. I had close guy no, friends too. No, this is true. Had, you like, had an abnormally uh, large amount of GSFs. Yeah. Did That's I? why I like, thought. Okay, did so they all were... like you? Some of them, yes. Some of them, some of them did. did. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like. When I so this actually happened in the past, I won't say time zone, but I had a crush on a girl, uh, and then we became friends. But once I'm friends with you long enough, I can only see you as a friend. Oh. Like it goes to almost like a that's, sibling territory where it's like that's true. Thinking about me and you dating, I'm just like that's weird. Uh, Even like, if you started off thinking I, they were attractive, exactly. I started really? off yeah. liking somebody, but then we became really good friends, and now I'm like, I can only see you as a friend. But don't you think that's the foundation not... to a solid romantic relationship is friendship, though? Mm-hmm. Like, that should be the core. Is that your the... ideal mm-hmm. pathway into a relationship, is dating someone you are already friends with? I think mm-hmm. those or are the something. best relationships. So I, I will, s- I've, I've never been in that situation, mm-hmm. actually. Me neither. Yeah, like, but, I'll, I yeah, from either. what I noticed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, really? I've, I think so too. I think as I get older now, I've only seen it on TV. I have never seen it in real life. That's true. Sure. The friends to lovers trope. Yeah, no, I have a couple of my friends who did that, and like they are in very good places. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my yeah. cousins like that actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I've only heard stories about it, but it's, it's like a beautiful ideal situation because you, if you've been friends with them for a long time, mm-hmm. you know everything they've been through, and you might have mm. been through some of those things with them. So you know the baggage they're coming in with. You know, mm-hmm. like, and you probably like maybe help them it's through it. It's an easy it. way to mm-hmm. suss out. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do like a background check or like yeah. I don't know, <laughs> like figure things out on the way. Like you yeah. learn a lot yeah. about someone right. else right. when you're when you start dating as strangers. You're just, always, you're just yeah. You're just basically you when you next. when yeah. you start dating someone that you didn't know before. You're basically dating them until you find enough red flags to break up with them. Whereas, mm. if you're in, if you were already <laughs> friends, with them, yeah. I was like, mm. but if you were already yeah. friends with them, you know the you flags, know the flags yeah. and you already know if those flags are bad enough for deal you not to, for you. deal breakers right. for yeah. you to date them. Mm. So that's maybe that's why they work out so well. Yeah. Damn, I need to go through my roster. This is a really convincing hey, argument. Keep that in the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> guy. <laughs> I got one guy. <laughs> His name is Nick Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so funny. But that's interesting because, like, I also cannot see myself dating any of my friends no, besides Nick. Oh, mm. okay. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. My man. 
married. Uh, married. But yeah, if you think about it, all yeah. the friends that we're friends with, like, I think they're attractive, but no way. No. In, like, oh, hell no. I would exactly. not date any of my no, friends with girls. No. Mm. No. Is but it, it would work they have out. red flags? No, no, no. no. It's just, or it's just like the same. No, just, just yeah. Friends. I would love for that to happen. Just like become friends with someone and then... Right. Maybe, maybe the proper, maybe <laughs> the proper way. <laughs> he's like just waiting, wait. <laughs> just waiting for the wait, one day. Wait. <laughs> but is that maybe you should approach dating as like when you're meeting? Okay. Is it just maybe friend zone yeah, right friend away? zone them immediately, <laughs> and then and then bro, figure out if you can not date them. This, bro. Well, I have the to point think is about to not now. think about it. Yeah. The point That's is true. to let it happen organically. That's like true. what you said, right? Like your mm. relationship will come when you least expect it. Yes. Who, that's like true. who knows? Like you become friends with this girl, and then you guys yeah. vibe, and it friendship leads to like something mm. else. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay. It's because we're all very STEM people. We're always like, okay, yeah, I'm strategizing like, my life. Yeah, right now. yeah, but it is. Yeah, I just yeah. realized it never works like that. No, it's that's gotta, true. Gotta let things play out yeah. the way. It's gotta send it. Has anyone had like a successful relationship where they like planned it out in their heads? Like, I don't. Mm-hmm. Andrew's oh, I do kinda, this all the time. <laughs> Andrew does this a lot, where oh, he yeah. like, he he has like a game plan of like how he's gonna get a girl to like them. <laughs> That sounds Wait, very that, weird. Let me ask Wait a go. second. Oh, it, what's a better way of putting uh, that? Um, no, no, no. Just, I think that's cute. It's just I will, the yes. It's just yeah, it's the okay, chase. Okay. Yeah, it's the chase. Yeah. Why you yeah. like that, Wait, I'm intrigued. That's, what are the what are mm. what are what are your like what are your tricks? This is what are yeah, your tricks? tricks. Wait a second. I don't yeah. like this. Uh, <laughs> His um, it's like dropping from the guy's perspective. It's like leering the girl to the. It's a chase, right? It's like, well, when I like a girl, you can't just go all out and oh, just no. like yes. profess no. your love no. yes. he's like yes you have to no no no, no. I'm, I'm agreeing with you <laughs> okay okay okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so I'm just saying like <laughs> I've never done that love bombing is toxic oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it is yeah. 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 one there's a beautiful rainbow right there <gasps> wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sure. Wait. Wait. also I was gonna say there's a line uh, of pigeons right there which is not that beautiful but... where's the oh that's cute oh, though line that's wait, actually that's so, so sick um but I'll I'll go back to my game plan not game game plan sounds weird it sounds like Barney Simpson yeah, but he's like it, toxic so I, king. The OG toxic uh, he, king was really Barney Stinson. The OG toxic king, but, but he's uh, gay in real life. It's pretty crazy. He played. It, he played a very toxic straight, straight dude very yeah. well. Anyways, Andrew. Yes, yeah. yeah, continue. Sorry. But yeah, instead of like professing your love all at once and going like like hard in the paint <laughs> to, to <laughs> get a girl. <laughs> it's usually that anymore. Oh, you boxed that never. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like oh like. This is gonna be really specific, and uh, we we might have to bleep this. We can out we can we can cut yeah. all this out. It's That's bad. how you try to slide in. Yeah, it's just like it's just being conflict. really like conflict. subtle about it at first. Yes. Well, like you can't tell if they're actually into you or they're just being friendly. Right. Mm. Do you think that strategy works oh, better than right. like setting your intentions right off? No, the bat? that that's how you have to do it. Mm. You have to be ambiguous. So oh, you so you don't want to be straightforward. But I also no. don't like games, though. Yeah, mm, see, that's okay, the okay, difference. That's really right? But like, I don't like mixed messages. It's like, mm. if you're interested in me, just let me know. So you want guys to be straightforward and be like, hey, I'm into you, let me take you out on a date. Yeah. Mm. Andrew, mm-hmm. you might need to change your game plan. Well, I this do. game plan I don't only like doesn't. That, though. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, well, it's also because it takes me a long time. Or, like, mm. I do. I don't like people generally, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I just hate people. <laughs> like, so it's like I need people. time to figure out for myself, like how I feel about a different right. another. But person. you can figure it out while going on dates with them. That's how you figure it out, That's right? Also, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to go on a date. Like I don't want to. Oh do man, that. maybe I just I'm like, yeah. Going well, on a date doesn't good. mean that you're like, yeah, oh, like right. I'm down bad for that's you too, right? Mm-hmm. Like food. So. Yeah. Don't do that. Like that. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> That's my biggest fear right now. Wait, what's your, what's your fear? It's just being used. On, uh, I, I feel see. like that oh, happens. I feel like happens to me. Yeah. yeah. I guess for a guy. That would just make me feel so much worse at this moment. But mm. yeah, it's bound to happen. I just need to get over that fear. Um, yeah, just go on dates, bro. Yeah. Mm. Uh, eventually. I feel like you can tell from the vibe of the girl. No. Yeah. yeah it's hard to t- it's hard to read anyone on dating apps. Or oh. like, that's why you have to date. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but at I that know instantly, I'm like, that point. right. Like but the then, what if you can tell that this person's like not into you and just trying to get a free meal? What do you do? Just you be like, leave first. 
Oh, just try to get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> do you just not pay the? Do you just not pay the bill, or do you just take? No, the I think you take the L for the just first, yeah. the first okay. date, like, and then yeah. just never see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just like. Or you can just leave. Yeah, yeah. Or, or remember? Well, remember like, I have to use the bathroom. Can't die like, bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Turn oh, the table. No. <laughs> no, it, was, it was a joke. Oh. Uh, <laughs> toxic. Toxic queen. I've never done that before. Okay, just claim it. Okay. Okay. My first dates usually go well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. What happens yeah. afterwards, though? <laughs> it's all downhill from there. Is having a good first date uh, a green flag? Yes. What? what do you mean? <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Jesus no, no, no. no. <laughs> The fuck? No. He's not. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. That's a hard question exactly. to answer. Wait a second. <laughs> I think he's actually he's a not. He's a Pope Catholic. He's a Pope yes. Catholic. It's like, like uh, he's actually that's a... not. Um, beautiful. Keep... Keep mm-hmm. talking. I'm Keep sorry. Talking, Does, yeah. Do you yeah, necessarily... Okay, here's a better way to phrase it. Do you have people. to have a good first date in order to have a good relationship? No. Mm, no. No. But, but you... Or can it you... It has to be a good first date to have a second date. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Say you had... Okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know what you're trying to say. Bro. I don't know what I'm yeah. trying to say either. So, yeah. Preferably... It has can to be can you have a bad... First, have you ever had a bad first date but you're like... Okay, let's go on a second date mm-hmm. and it actually turned out to be better than the first date uh, i haven't you haven't yeah. usually I'm... i only go on a lot of first dates no, not a lot of second mm-hmm. dates yeah. yeah do they go to you or you go so it's both ways, both ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. i've never been on a terrible first date but i've been on like mid first dates mm-hmm. and then i just okay. don't see them again mm-hmm. okay yeah okay. cool 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 I need he's like taking notes write like... notes down <laughs> he's gonna study this this video <laughs> Rewind, play it I will watch it a lot of times. <laughs> That's what I do. I this watch this back and forth Are you on hundreds Hinge? of times. Yeah, recently I have mm. been on Hinge. Gotcha. But it's like, it sucks. I hate online dating. Oh, I it's I it's just it. so much like talking phase. That's the thing. You should and then just... it's hard to progress. Which is why I'm like asking like, is it mm. appropriate to be like, like, the first text be like, hey, I'm gonna take you out to here, come with no, me. Most no, girls don't like that. Ma- ma- no, not the like first that. text. Okay. Like, have like a couple exchanges, like one or two exchanges, and then just be like, and then just like recommend something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how like, I would I, I usually, how, I usually yeah. do jokes and like keep it light. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What? what kind of jokes? Like, like that joke. jokes. No, <laughs> not that no, jokes. Oh, yeah, you had that one really good one. I have a lot of no, good no, ones. Okay, I only okay, showed okay, you okay, one. What do you say? What do you say? It, it was like it was like the girl no, was like. No, no, no. I I tailor very specifically. Yeah, it to was like the the girl was like uh, like uh, playing basketball or something like that. And then and then you're, you're can I say it? <laughs> just say it. No, it's not even that good joke. But yeah. Okay. And then and then he's like, what was it? What do you say? I said your stroke game is smooth as. Like <laughs> That's what you call every when you time, shoot. Every time I hear about like, Jesse messages girls, I don't even. Think I wish that I had never heard it. That, yeah. game, that was not even. That wasn't even a good was one. Hilarious. I had an even You're better one. Man, this I'm is why Jesse hasn't been on a first <laughs> date yet. I, think I, would not respond, I would not respond. She to responded. Yeah. Oh yeah, it worked. She did. Yeah, it worked. Dude, that's pretty funny. Is it? Funny? I don't know I if I would want. I don't know if I would want like a perverted joke yeah. as like the first. But it like, could be interpreted as not. <laughs> no, okay. No. Yes, you can. What do you mean? Then dude, she's all... dumb. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's like you can't be straight up perverted. You have to have like. You have to have. <laughs> just a little bit perverted. Just a, just a, just it's not just perverted. It's just, just a, like you want it. No, it's like it's like that that just thing. You need to have a good though. yeah the yeah. double entendre. You need mm. to have. A good like subtle flirty yes. like yes. being yeah. like outright flirty yeah. i think is a turn off because it's like you're being you're coming mm. on too strong that's true mm. but if you're subtly say, yeah. flirty mm. i think that works the best i think that's mm. i don't know it's it's a hard balance to find anyways yeah yeah fair i thought it was funny yeah it is really funny actually yeah luana it, it's not that funny mm. as a girl on dating one. as because rachel you're not on mm-hmm. date okay mm. what is the best like opener is it fun. like a joke is it just a hey like what works no, the best yeah not just works? a hey yeah okay yeah because it's Granted. like yeah well i actually think it doesn't matter what you say mm. it just matters how you attracted you are yeah to that. Uh, is that, that is like true. the if hottest guy in the world fuck, you, you just say matter, hey like, yeah. like it doesn't GG, matter yeah. gg yeah mm. you're gonna respond no matter what yeah. right yeah if a hot girl just says hey I'm like, okay what, what does <laughs> it not <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> all right dude if a hot okay. if a hot girl says any is the first to make the conversation that's already like a you're already mm. 10 miles ahead. 
mm. I think because they're showing interest first yeah yeah yeah, mm. yeah that's true what does an ugly guy have to say to you to get your attention? <laughs> <laughs> Something really funny. Okay, so funny yeah. can compensate for being. Of course, I okay. feel like you just That's have why to. Gotta be okay. You just you just yeah. can't be like butt ugly. Like if you're like okay. if you're like medium ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, like, ugly I, hot. Recently, yeah. like my friends told me this term, like ugly hot. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. No, I ugly guess hot like, is the personality makes up for it. Oh, yeah, like yeah, what's yeah, his yeah. name? Pete Davidson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't think he's attractive, but yes, he's yeah. not. He, he's ugly hot. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like there's everyone just has like a baseline, and once you cross that baseline, it's the personality that takes uh, over. Like oh, it's interesting. It's kind of yeah. like med school apps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, actually. Though. And then, like, once you're above a certain yeah. score, like it's the extra stuff that comes. Yeah, to the it's like, uh, it's, can crazy. I be physically attracted to this person? Mm. And if I can uh, be, then personality takes over. Uh, mm. So personality. Okay. Oh, I hope so. Nick is just super, Nick is just super like, shallow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, the threshold is just being high. I don't care about anything else above that. <laughs> but I do feel like the threshold is different for girls and guys. Mm. Girls have a lower threshold for attractiveness, mm. and like the other stuff make up more of the I, criteria. Uh, Whereas yeah, guys have a high mm. threshold for attractiveness, and like the other stuff is like bonus, but like mm. it doesn't make as much of a difference. If you're not attracted to them, mm. yeah, Agreed. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do agree. With this one. Are guys just like more shallow? Yes. More shallow. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just uh, think with your beep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is true. With our beeps. <laughs> I don't got a beep. <laughs> the hell? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait what? No, wait, no, oh wait, what? I, I don't have it. a beep. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait. No, wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's no, go. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> this could work. <laughs> All right. Um, Nick, you just want to go downstairs? <laughs> uh, yeah. But why? Do you think that's like a biological thing or a socio? Wait, what's the biological? That guys are just more shallow. I think like, so. <clears throat> Because I feel like if you look at other like species, I mean, it's like, <laughs> hey, the peacock, so, yeah, yeah peacocks, needs to show it's up. like always the, the guy trying to get the girl. Oh, or, like, oh. yeah. Mm. 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 But the in that case, it's like literally you have to have the biggest feathers. So like the girls are actually more shallow in the peacock. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh. Yeah. Peacock girls are <laughs> hella shallow. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah. Hmm. So what the what? But like, <laughs> guys are definitely more shallow. Maybe like biologically, like the male species always just wants to reproduce. Mm. So like, you want your offsprings to be like a one, right? So it's like you go for mm. looks mm. more than like the mm. other stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for women, we care a lot about like the emotional side of things. Like mm -hmm. we're very like, I don't know. So yes. maybe it's like the nurture and cares. Yeah, more, yeah exactly. Right. So it's like we look into the other aspects of someone mm, too, okay. besides yeah. just like the looks. That's my own theory, maybe. I don't a know. good yeah. companion. No, I think that's yeah. yeah, that's a good that's a good. But point. for guys though, like it comes to a certain point though, right? Like you could like you can't be like Yes. Oh, personally, well that's that's they, how that's oh, yeah, how yeah, relationships yeah. end is when you realize their hotness does not compensate for their lack in like <laughs> personality compatibility. Yeah. 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 yeah agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, like uh, he, Andrew knows this well. He's like, I can be really attracted to a girl, mm -hmm. but if their personality is yeah. not yes. there, yes. personalities yes. can be a turnoff too. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. no, There's sure, like, sure. yeah. Like you can be the hottest girl mm -hmm. in the world, but if you have an ick, yeah. or if you give me an ick, mm -hmm. then like, that has happened. Yeah. But icks are personality usually. Like. So one of the funniest things I think in life that can happen is uh, kids saying like cuss words. I think it's just absolutely hilarious. I have a story. I, I have is a it story the too. same story as is me? Is it Avatar? No. Oh. Uh, I have one about John. Oh, I have one about me with you guys. <laughs> Wait, what? Because I, I remember, too. I remember, um, I think I was like seven, but you guys rented or no, we owned like <laughs> Avatar, the blue people one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, oh, yeah. not, not, not the, the last air, Not the last yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, We were watching it, and there's this one girl that I really liked from the movie that like flies the little plane or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the then blue she's person? or the no, no she's no, no, a no, human. The human. And like she said shit one time, and I like said the line along with her. <laughs> 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 it was a closed caption. 
No, I don't know. I just, because I think it was like our second watch through. Okay. And you guys both stared at me. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like. <laughs> did she just say what? Yeah. No. And you guys made me go upstairs we and like did? would not let me watch the rest of the movie. Well, I mean, we did. Oh, that. yeah. you guys that, that's, that's called being not. a good big girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know what that is. I was like, I didn't even know it was a bad word. How old yeah, are you? Because that's seven. the funniest thing about uh, yeah. it because you don't know it's that How bad. Old you don't. Are you? Yeah. So I, if I was seven, then you'd be yeah, thirteen, 13 or eleven. eleven. Yeah. Because I was aware that it was a bad word at that point. I'm actually surprised I would know that it's a bad word at eleven. You know yeah. shit's a bad yeah. word by 11, about? for sure. What's 11? But at 7, you probably don't really no. know. Yeah. What, that's the funniest oh, thing about it is like because little kids <laughs> don't know the implication behind the word because mm-hmm. they're so innocent. Yeah. And I think that's the mm. funny aspect of it. So my story is... I so we, like I knew, and I still used it. Oh, <laughs> then it's not funny. It's just like... <laughs> Maybe it's because I grew up <laughs> like, in the city. Yeah. So like uh, I, yeah, I feel like from a very early age, I just hear, early. yeah, I just like yeah. hear these words mm, and like okay. I know the context that it's being used in. Mm. I know Nick has oh, an interesting story. story. Yeah, yeah oh. tell us. Nick. Okay, tell us. okay. So uh, this was like two months ago, three months ago. So yeah. I was babysitting for my cousin. Mm-hmm. Right, they have two kids. One is two, the other is five. And so I was babysitting them, whatever. And then I was uh, putting them to sleep. So I read the story to the two-year-old, whatever. And then she's not potty trained at night, so I had to put a diaper on her. And I've never put on a diaper before. So I, you know, was putting on a diaper for her, you know, I put it on and I was like, yes, I did it, right? And she's like, Uncle Nick, Uncle Nick, take it off, take it off. I'm like, dude, why? <laughs> I was like, what did I do wrong? And she's like, she goes, I want Aquaphor on my vagina. <laughs> This girl is like three, she's two years old. Two years old. I want, and I start laughing. I'm like, what did you just say? She's like, I want Aquaphor on my vagina. <laughs> So I was like, okay. So then, yeah. That would make me so uncomfortable. I was like, <laughs> so I was like, dude, this kid's fucking advanced. Oh like, Wait, I didn't that, know that until kid, she's gonna be oh a doctor. Oh in God. California, Yo, are kids, raised different. Yeah, yeah. Kids, oh. California no. kids are different. This new generation, like, I just saw my baby cousin. The sex ed is great now. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Unless you go to a Catholic yeah. school. Yeah, that's true. No yeah, sex ed. No Ohio. And anti-sex ed. That's Wait, what that, that's I, what two that. years old? You can't No, because they, they, they yeah. teach the kids really? that because, like, so they know sexual, uh, sexual stuff. And, like, no, you know, actually, if, it's, if there's something yeah. wrong, they can know how to explain it. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's actually wow. really And then, good. you know, yeah. like, yeah. And, like, you can yeah. explain to your kids, like, oh, you know, you don't want anyone to touch you there. Mm, blah, right, blah, right. Blah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Really? I love that. Yeah. They're way more... But that... That, that would shock me. If, yeah, if yeah. I was I was year shook, old bro. I was like, cousin, <laughs> said that, that was hilarious. Yeah. I would be like, you. What did you just? Say? <laughs> I'm not gonna. What? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if I know the word Vaseline at that age. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Andrew's yeah. more impressed by the fact that you said aquaphor. Like, you know what aquaphor is? <laughs> Two? Yeah, People that's crazy. That she just started talking. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Her first word was vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Second word was aquaphor. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna end this off on one more story. So my little brother John, when he was like two or three years old, um, so his older brother Philip, who's like two years older than he is, so John was probably like three or four. Yeah. Philip was probably five or six, and Philip always picks on John and his. One time, Phil was, like, making fun of John. He's like, oh, yeah, like, John, you don't know any cuss words. You're not cool or whatever. <laughs> and we were just all at the dinner table having, like, a like a regular dinner with our family. Yeah. And um, Phil was just making fun of him. And he's like, yeah, you don't know any cuss words. And then John was like, yeah, I do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of us just, like, dropped our utensils. We're just, and then turned slowly and looked at John. It's like, what do you want that word <laughs> And I was just dying laughing, but my parents were so not funny. happy about that. Oh, they, were, oh. they, were they like, didn't think dude. it was funny? No, no they didn't think oh, it was funny. No. I thought it was mm. hilarious. I would think it was yeah. funny. Well, well, still yeah. uncomfortable when you guys have kids curse. in the future, like, how will you react mm. to them cursing? Oh, yeah, Will you, 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 will you be it. like, no, that's not allowed, or will you. Because yeah. I will definitely it. be using curse words. And, like, Around if they. Yeah, bro, what? <laughs> I mean, inevitably, it, I won't it do it, slip. like, to well, my I, kids, but I might be talking yeah. to my, like, significant other or, mm. like, my friends, and they might hear it. Oh, that's like, true. Like, it's going to happen. True. And then, and then mm. if they use cuss words and I call them out for it, they can be like, hey, but I heard you say it. But, so then... Mm. But you're an adult, bro. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, you can make that. This, yeah. But I don't know yeah. if kids mm. can recognize it at that point. Yes, what do you mean? Yeah. They're like, yeah. if you said it, why can't I say it? No, well, there's a lot of things that beer? adults why yeah, do I? that kids can't do. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I feel like it's an easy. Our kids, that's why can't I drive? No, but I feel dumb. like you can't. But, <laughs> yeah. but the. But. The answer, because I'm an adult, that can't be the only reason right. you yeah. provide. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to back it up with something okay. else, yeah. Yeah. right? That's, that's mm-hmm. a good point. Yeah. Or you can just learn to censor yourself around kids. Like, I oh, feel yeah. like no, I've I will. Really I won't purposely do it, but yeah. like, if I, it slips, it's, it's, yeah. slips. it's yeah. gonna slip. Yeah. It's, it's okay. ingrained in my vocabulary. I'm not gonna just. Fair. <laughs> Don't be so fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's yeah. just gonna happen. Yeah. Mm. But it's still hilarious when kids do it. Yeah. Very yeah. instantly, yeah. so. Anyways, we are going to wrap this podcast up. Thank you guys all for tuning in to this episode of The Rooftop Pod. I'm your host, Jesse, signing off. And uh, my friends are also signing off. Bye. Peace. Peace. Bye. We don't have, have names this time. Nope. <laughs> That's the way, people. Yeah. Oh, Nick, you. Luana, what game? Andrew and Rachel. <clears throat> what game? Let's drink. Right now? I got to go to the airport. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs>